Entering the world of artificial intelligence feels like watching a sci-fi movie where the plot keeps evolving faster than we can microwave a bag of popcorn. If a few years ago, someone would have told me that I would be asking AI to write essays, write computer code, or that I would be witnessing rap battles between SpongeBob characters, I would have checked their temperature and maybe offered them some tea, but oddly enough, this is the world that we live in right now. The circle of artificial intelligence is constantly expanding to an unimaginable circumference and is taking over our everyday lives day by day. And safe to say, we already feel the impact. I, for example, decided that I wanted to become a programmer a few years ago, but now I'm not even sure if my job is even going to exist by the time I finish studying. The world is constantly changing. But back in 2022, the whole existence of AI seemed very limited to science fiction movies or advanced science or medicine. But in April of the same year, a tool called DALI hit the mainstream and launched. And it was an AI algorithm that was able to generate images based on the prompts that the user entered. Let me show you a few examples. So here, I asked the second version of DALI to generate an image of a landscape with mountains uh, and a forest. And here we can see an, uh, an aesthetically pleasing image that might as well have been made by an actual artist. You can see the pencil strokes, the technique, and this is one of the concerns that I'm going to talk about. But before that, I would like to give you another example. Here, I asked uh, the same version of DALI to create a, an, a photorealistic image of a presentation about artificial intelligence. So. Uh, that does not look like me, as you can see. Uh, the image uh, is not very realistic, and you can obviously tell that it has been made by an artificial intelligence. And so this was the main weakness with the early versions of uh, image-generating AI. It was not powerful enough to create convincing photorealistic images, but AI developed so fast that three months later, another image-generating algorithm was released. It was called Midjourney. And Midjourney was far more powerful than Dolly. Midjourney was able to make detailed, convincing, and photorealistic images. So now, not even artists, uh, even photographers and cinematographers were, were concerned with this because they saw that the the effort, the emotion that it took for them to to work could now be replicated in just a few taps on the keyboard and a wait time of around 10 seconds. But that is not the only issue with image generating AI. Currently, we even have technology that is able to create videos and photos, completely realistic videos and photos with actual people and actual faces. And for obvious reasons, this technology is not currently available to the general public. However, the mere fact that it exists is already concerning enough because that means that it is only a matter of time before it gets into the wrong hands. And if it does, the people with malicious intent could use it to first, for example, create a market for illegal explicit content. So sadly, things such as celebrity or even child pornography could become accessible. Secondly, it could be used for defaming and uh, falsifying evidence. So imagine any of you, a few years from now, sitting in a courtroom and watching a video of you committing a crime that you would never even think about doing. It can also be used for, for spreading politically charged misinformation. So imagine videos or photos popping up online, see, and you're seeing politicians accepting bribes and money. These images supposedly ex expose corruption. So now you're obviously going to vote for the opposing party, not realizing that these images were fabricated by uh, the opposing party. So now they have your vote. So these few examples are just the tip of the iceberg, but we also have to talk about something else, something more familiar, the type of AI that most of us probably use, text-based artificial intelligence, and our dear friend, ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT, for example, is extremely powerful. It can create coherent text responses, format data, write essays, write computer code, even talk to the user in the role that the user provides. And because of how powerful and, so, and how versatile ChatGPT is, 
it became pop the explosion of popularity was simply unimaginable. Twitter, for example, reached a million users in two years. ChatGPT reached a million users in five days. And so, because of how popular it is and how powerful it is, students, for example, are using it to complete their homework assignments in just seconds, and the teachers can, of course, uh, double check whether uh, the text was written by a literary genius or was it just another AI-generated essay. But even so, such software can be simply bypassed by just adjusting the text to users' needs. And even if it, if it is developed to the point where even if text adjusted, it could be detectable, another AI could be developed that bypasses the, the detection program. So it is an ongoing battle between detection and AI technology. Not only that, ChatGPT also popularized other text-based artificial intelligence algorithms, which are now used to format data, for example, in office work, or write computer code. So rich corporations are now firing tons of workers without providing them any reason, but I think it is pretty obvious that that is because a single worker can now do the same amount of work that only 10 workers were able to do previously, but this one worker is now able to use artificial intelligence. These companies, they, they would fire their most dedicated workers, the ones who work day and night, to provide for themselves, to provide for their families, and they would leave the ones who were the first to take advantage of artificial intelligence. Now, another batch of AI algorithms are the voices of AI. So, it all sounds fun, like you can make your favorite celebrities sing your, the favorite songs of your boy bands. How fun, right? However, when you look, at, look into it deeper, you see a lot of problems stemming from this too. For example, imagine one day receiving a call from an unknown caller with an unknown number, you answer it and you hear a question, hey, is this Peter speaking? And you just say, no, this is not him. Who are you? Do I know you? And then they hang up. So you don't think much of it. But now the people behind the line have a sample of your voice, and they can make you say whatever they want using artificial intelligence. So two days later, your poor mother gets a call with you screaming for help, and the people behind the line asking for ransom. And this is just one example of how such algorithms can be used. It can also be used the same way as the image generating AI to spread misinformation, propaganda, influence people's opinions, and many more. If these risks that I've presented were not enough, we need to talk about the long term. If AI is going to be developed in the same pace without any limitations as it is right now, it is very possible that in a few decades, maybe even less, most of our jobs will have gotten replaced. The AI does not want a wage. The AI does not want good working conditions. The AI does not go on a strike. It is a perfect worker for the rich company. So many workers, of course, are going to get fired, would lose their jobs, would lose hours of studying, hours of uh, working overtime just to provide for themselves or for their families. Most demanded professions are probably going to be AI engineer or AI programmer, but even then, it is possible that we, we will somehow be able to develop AI to the point where it is able to notice its own flaws and Im improve itself. And at that point, we will have created something called the technological singularity. A hypothetical point in the future where technological growth becomes out of our control and the damages will simply be irreversible. The people are likely going to be split into two groups. The ones who are able to take advantage of AI and are now sitting at the top, and the ones who are not so fortunate and are now receiving minimal amounts of money. So the rich will get richer, the poor will get poorer. The jobs are prob probably just going to be some pointless tasks to get minimal amounts of money for just to keep the economy going. Back in the day when we used to watch movies about 
uh, robots violently taking over the world. We thought of it only as a sci-fi idea that would never happen, but this is the world that we live in, and uh, well, it, it is not going to take over the world violently and rule with an iron fist, but AI is probably going to replace us in the job market. So right now, I am very concerned for our future. I am concerned whether it is even worth studying anymore. Am I even going to get a job? Is my job still going to exist? Are my friends' jobs going to exist? Are they going to be able to live a financially stable life? Are my relatives not going to get scammed out of their savings because someone now has a 10-minute recording of me making the speech? Is an innocent stranger going to be put into jail because of an AI-generated video? I think it is up to the governments to implement limitations to AI development right now and leave it only where it, where it is actually useful, in advanced science or medicine. Or else, well, I'm disappointed to say this, but the future looks dark. Thank you.